Hello students, today we will see the solutions for your chapter 1 advanced web designing, right? This will be a short video you can see. So we will check it out. The answers over here, the first answer is filling the blanks, right? This is for chapter 1 HSC IT Maharashtra board class 12 science arts commerce. This chapter is common for all streams. The first chapter so you all people you all students can refer this solutions right of this chapter one so we'll start over here the dash element is a starring element in an html it indicates that document type definition being used by the document right so being the starting element you can see in all html documents it is doc type html right doc type html like this or you can say html you can write right but uh, standard is doc type html now the second one the dash is a tag in html that describes aspects of contents of a web page that means you can say what the uh, web page or website is all about is totally defined in mentioned in meta tag okay the meta is a tag you can say meta tag is a tag in html that describes some aspects of contents of web page then the ol tag defines an what ol means an ordered list you can say so the answer will be ordered list right ordered list and on order an unordered list created using the dash tag if ol is for order then you can say ul tag right an order list is for ul tag then the dash element creates an inline frame inline frame that means i frame the i frame element you can say creates an inline frame then the dash tag is used to specify video on an html element simple video tag right it's video tag then if a web developer wants to add the description of an image, he must use what dash attribute of HTML tag. That means you can say, as I explained in all my videos of this chapter one, you can check it out on the playlist uh, for this uh, first chapters. I will provide the videos in the above the I button, or you can say in the description of this video or at the end screen also you can find it out so all i have explained in detail all the chapter uh, contents of this first chapter and all uh, you can say hsc it maharashtra class 12 science arts commerce i have explained you can check it out the video videos for all the subjects i'm sorry for all the contents of the uh, chapter contents you can say or exercise solutions or important uh, question and answers or you can say revision lectures all has been uploaded already right so you can say, uh, you can refer those, right? So this actually, I in the previous videos also, in the video lectures, I explained that description to an image that we use is alt attribute, right? And alt attribute should be used uh, for uh, defining and uh, you can say uh, image while it, if it is not loading properly due to the slow net speed, or you can say some any other issue or some what okay if the image is not loading then the alt attribute helps to recognize the user that what type of the image or what the image is all about that is being displayed over here or not displayed because of the unloading factor the dash property is used to set position for an element it's position property right i guess i will write properly over here hmm. so it's position property right then we'll move forward the float property defines the dash of content float that means uh, how you write uh, the, if you write a float left then it will flow to the left of the web page if right then right none then by default so the flow you can see the float property defines the flow of the content dash is used with elements you can say that overlap with each other that is positioning right positioning you can say 
okay so this was for this filling the blanks now we'll see the state true or false right html is an object oriented language no it is uh, actually you can say the browser don't bother about this you can write a small letter or capital letter or any tags and all so you can say it is false it is not necessary to be an object oriented language html it is a normal language you can say java this uh, c++ and all are object oriented language that means you have to follow the proper guidelines or proper instruction set to declare a variable or to uh, you can say write a statement or to print the output you can say then char set is used for character encoding you can say uh, declaration yes it's true utf and all character set then an unordered list can be numerical or alphabetical is it no because an unordered list you can say will be of type dots wala square disks circle empty circle like that and okay and order list will be al numerical or alphabetical so it is false multi level list can be created in html5 yes you can true src code specifies the html content of the page to show in the iframe no it's false and the controls attribute is not used to add place pause and volume is it no right is not they are saying so there is a difference if it has uh, if in exam you can say they can ask that uh, um, they could ask actually the controls attribute is used to add play pause and that means at that time it will be right that means that time it will be true and so check this not this is saying that controls is not used to add this uh, play pause and all but it is used to adding that right so it is not so you will write as false dot cs is the extension of css file no it's false as you know dot css is for css and this is a code behind file for shisha files that is dot net technology you can say right so it is false so now choose single correct answer from given option dash element used to create a linking image that is map the dash tag is used and see this is an attribute this is a element and this is element to add image and this is a table data you can say ins using inside the table row tag the dash tag is used to embed audio files yes audio tag then a programmer wants to define range for age between 18 to 50 he will use a form with following appropriate control age range simple then the dash character is used to create id in css yes it is used like this hash right choose two correct answers from the given options list within another list either dash list or dash list is called nested list right so you can say the answer will be ordered and unordered right list either order list or unordered list is called you can say list within another list order and unordered image maps are of two types client side and server side right a css rule set contains dash and dash right a selector is there id selector and then declaration right then we'll move forward to this client side image map can be created using two elements dash and dash yes so you can say area and map it is client side image map not an image they are saying okay right and elements they are saying so this is an attribute use map right so you can say uh, area and map then choose three correct answers from the given options attributes of area tag is yes href to give the uh, you can say linking and uh, you can say coordinates to specify the coordinates whether it would be a circle or rectangle or a poly then the alt right uh, yes href quotes and alt fine then attributes used with iframe are are what 
you can say src doc name and src right then following are the form controls form in form email is there search and tell right label video audio not right email search and tell okay then attributes used with audio tag you can say it is autoplay loop and controls rest these all are not then css types are dash dash and it's simple internal external and inline right then positioning types in css are you can say static fixed and you can say what absolute right static fixed and absolute then types of floating properties are it's easy left right and none we have seen left right and none in the lectures you can go over there now match the pair ul okay ul so ul is for what see over here it is for unordered list so it is for bulleted list that's mean it will come for this use map use map is what you can say client side image map then color color is what a css property that means three will come an image image for what to insert an image then input type is equal to image right so for this you can say this d1 right fifth okay friends so this we have completed over here and if you are concerned with this actually this i have uh, create, uh, created a you can say uh a separate video for all this uh, first second and third explanation uh, coding with explanation i have done we are using the sublime text editor okay i have explained practically in detail so you can refer to that video i will provide the description for the that also be, uh, be uh, you can say with this video right so we'll come to the next video the next time till then i will request you subscribe the channel like the video if you like it and definitely press the bell notification icon so that if you if new videos will be uploaded that you will be notified regarding those videos as well and share this video to your friends students and if you have any doubt then please comment below in this video right till then thank you have a good day